More and more celebrities are talking about buying and selling NFTs or non fungible tokens using cryptocurrency. But what about a house? as an NFT. A Pinellas County realtor is selling a house as an NFT at auction next week. It's a first of its kind in the country. Fox 13's Brianna Ardondo is joining us now live in Gulfport. Brianna, definitely a unique way to sell a house. It's certainly a conversation starter, Kelly, and the homeowner works at a cryptocurrency company, and so for her, this made a lot of sense, and so she got together with her realtor to help make it happen. In 2022, it's not enough to buy or sell a house the traditional way anymore. Yeah, this is the, the master bedroom. Realtor Amy Heckler takes us on a tour of this 1951 five bedroom, three and a half bath house in Gulfport, up for sale in a new way. This is going to be the first house actually sold as an NFT. Heckler represents the homeowner who promotes cryptocurrency and NFTs or non fungible tokens. She calls this $650,000 listing a bold adventure. I think it's very exciting. I think I think this could very well be where real estate transfers go in the future. You know, this is the first time it's been done in the United States, so we'll have to wait and see what happens, what happens on Tuesday. Most NFTs you hear about are digital products, but USF business professor Balaji Padmanabhan tells us remotely they can also be physical things like a house. So people have been excited about, you know, real estate entering the NFT world. Uh, but it, it has a bunch of challenges and, and it's like exactly auctions like this that will help us uh, break many of those uh, the, the obstacles. The appeal is instant ownership that's negotiable and legal. There's a lot of interest in decentralized finance today. So even things like getting a mortgage, right? Tomorrow it's possible that you go to a blockchain and you can get a mortgage in seconds. Right, and not from a company, but from individuals whom you don't even know. For this sale, the NFT is listed as a company that owns the house. So the winning bid gets the LLC transferred to their name. Then what happens next is up to the new owner of a historic sale. So they can move into it, they can rent it out. As long as they follow all the local guidelines, then it's their house to do what they want with it. And the real estate broker tells us that they'll find out which cryptocurrencies are accepted and what the minimum bid will be on Monday. And she says that if this house does not sell as an NFT on Tuesday, then it will likely sell using a regular deal with U.S. dollars. And that shouldn't be too hard because she tells us today that they already have several offers on this house and it's only been on the market for 10 days. Kelly? And that's the way the, uh, the real estate market is going right now. But it's going to be fascinating to see if they actually sell it as an NFT. And I know we're going to be following it. Let everybody know. Thank you so much, Brianna.